Hello and welcome to the next um, installment of engineering fluid mechanics and continuing on with the open channel flow. Uh, the next, this topic of this particular video is going to be the energy equation or the modified Bernoulli's as we've always seen it but applied into open channel concept. So what I'm drawing now is the bottom of the channel the bottom slope of S0 and I'm going to take two stations along the horizontal axis. In general these bottom slopes are pretty small so what I'm about to do uh, we can geometrically get away with is the distance between the two stations we'll call it delta x. We have some elevation datum here, same datum here. So we measure <clears throat> from elevation 0 to the bottom of the channel. Uh, this is station 1 and this is station 2. Those elevations of the bottom channel Z1 and Z2 play the same role in open channel flow that Z1 and Z2 played in pipeline flow. They represent the elevation of some logical reference point of the system. Now this wiggly line is representing the water surface or the hydraulic grade line and I just said that it was a hydraulic grade line without much uh, background and we're going to continue with that um, assumption and we're going to take this height at the station as y1 the flow depth this height at this station is y2 the flow depth at y2 um, and I have implied that flow is that way and the last one we have will be our energy grade line <coughs> if there are no head losses it would be horizontal but because field systems have some friction We'll call that the um, head loss. <clears throat> and this distance at station 1 is alpha 1 v1 squared over 2g. And this is alpha 2 v2 squared over 2g. Now the alphas um, are, again, uh, quite similar to kinetic energy correction coefficients. Uh, this is our definition sketch. It's slightly different than the one in the book. <coughs> but it's conveying the same information. By convention, um, we reference everything to the bottom of the channel. So that plays the same role as the center line of a pipe did in pipeline hydraulics. Alright, with this definition, we can come up with a um, modified Bernoulli equation. Again, without proof, we'll simply write it at P1 over gamma plus Z1 plus alpha 1 V1 squared over 2G. We'll not worry about pumps and turbines just yet. Is equal to P2 over gamma plus Z2 plus alpha 2 V2 squared over 2G plus the head loss. When the flow is turbulent, which is reasonably common, and not much curvature, and this is in the plan view, so when the when the channel looks like that versus looks like that. Not much versus lots. When we're in the upper pixel, the yeah, upper sketch of path line, in relatively turbulent flow, the kinetic energy correction coefficients are essentially one point, are essentially unity. Now you can read in the uh, textbook. Um, some further discussion on what these coefficients are and how they're computed. This is um, 
these often have to actually be computed to find out if they're one or approaching two in many but not all practical applications. For the sake of this course, we're going to treat them as unity unless it's otherwise necessary not to. <clears throat> if we make a hydrostatic approximation, so meaning that the uh, uh, not too much curvature in the streamlines, then under this uh, statement, the pressure head is essentially the same as the flow depth. So I'm going to go ahead and make that stipulation and we will proceed accordingly and modify our um, equation a little bit. So I don't have to redraw. I think I can pull this off. Ah, nice. I actually can. Cool. Okay, let's look at Z1 and Z2 in terms of delta x. Z1 minus Z2 is the same as the bottom slope times delta x. So we'll make that replacement in a second. P1 over gamma is y1. P2 over gamma is y2. So our... Um, Modified Bernoulli equation now becomes y1 plus v1 squared over 2d plus s0 delta x equals y2 plus v2 squared over 2g plus the head loss. Now let's return to our drawing. And recall that the slope of the energy grade line is S sub F. So the head loss term is equal to S sub F delta X. And generally, this is called the friction slope or the energy slope. going to do in the next set of videos is we're going to look at this variation of the energy, this representation of the modified Bernoulli's equation, some head loss models, and some properties that occur when the flow is uniform, um, supercritical, subcritical, and critical. Okay, so that concludes uh, the second video in this series of open channel flow videos.